What's up you guys? Today I want to do a video for the new hustlers out there. Whether you just started selling on eBay and you maybe you've made a few sales or maybe you haven't made any sales. Maybe you've just got a few items listed or maybe you haven't started at all. Maybe it's all just overwhelming for you and you just don't know where to start. This video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about the five things I wish I knew when I started selling on eBay. The five things that they just don't tell you. Before I started selling on eBay, I watched a ton of YouTube videos. No exaggeration, I probably watched between 40 and 50 videos about how to sell on eBay before I ever listed my first item. And even though I watched all those videos, these five things still caused me to stumble and, and trip and, and almost made me quit in the very beginning. So I wanna share them with you guys to, to help you along in your journey and to keep you from making the same mistakes I did. So with that being said, let's just jump into it and get into the five things they just don't tell you about selling on eBay. What's up you guys? So I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna have a long, annoying banter at the beginning of, of the video talking about today's sponsor. Of course, if I was sponsored, it would be by G Fuel, the best energy drink in the world, hands down. I've also emailed G Fuel several times asking for a promo code to put in my video descriptions and they have yet to respond. However, I do have faith that one day they will come to their senses. Let's get it. Number one on the list of the five things that I wish I would have known that nobody really told me about when I started selling on eBay is your selling limits. The whole reason I got started on eBay, kind of, sort of, was because I got an email from eBay saying, hey, we'll give you 50 free listings and you don't have to pay any listing fees just to get you started. You know, we'll give you this kind of a discount to get started just so you can get your feet wet and, and learn how the whole system works. I was like, okay, 50 listings, that's pretty good. I can find 50 things to, to sell, maybe. I, I, I didn't know anything. However, when I started listing things, I got to my sixth item and I got a message popped up that says I've met my selling limits. I was not aware that I had a selling limit of only five items. They didn't tell you that in the email. They just said your first 50 listings were free. They didn't say that you were limited to only five at first. To get by the selling limit, you would either have to make some sales and, and have them go through successfully, or you could just wait it out and call eBay and get them to manually increase it. Also, there's limits in certain categories. So you may start out with a five item limit, but you can't list like five electronics. So eBay is gonna limit your electronics category I was also limited in shoes for some reason. I think I could only list like three shoes at once or maybe like 10 pairs. Just watch your category limits. You don't wanna, if you're a new seller, I wouldn't go out and buy, you know, 50 pairs of shoes and hope to list all those at once. I would kind of just spread out, get into a bunch of different categories at first just to see what sticks and go from there. Number two is gonna be your shipping costs. They don't tell you that even if you sell your first couple items and you're charging the buyer shipping, you still have to pay for those shipping costs out of pocket and then you get reimbursed from the buyer like two weeks later. Your first couple items, I wouldn't sell anything super heavy because you're gonna have to pay for that shipping out of pocket. That may not be a huge deal for you. I don't know, I just thought it was something that I wish I would have known before I started. Number three is gonna be your PayPal hold time. It's actually your eBay hold hold time. eBay will put a hold on your PayPal funds. So when you sell an item, the buyer is going to pay you into your PayPal account through eBay. But eBay is going to put a hold on those funds until the item is marked as delivered or as long as 21 days. I was really confused because I would sell an item for you know, 15 or $20 and it would say the sale went through, but it would just show up as pending in my PayPal account. You can't use that money to pay for shipping. You can't use that money to source new goods. It's just out there in the nether world and it's just stuck until that item is either marked as delivered or until the restrictionary period is up. eBay is gonna put a hold on your account like that for the first 90 days you're selling. So for the first 90 days, you're basically gonna get your funds released for the items that you sold two weeks before. I hope that makes sense. It's it's kind of complicated and, and it can be stressful if you don't know what's going on. I've seen a ton of people on online groups and stuff ask about their hold time and, and how long eBay is gonna hold their funds. And it's, it's 21 days or until the item is marked as delivered. Number four is gonna be your eBay fees. For I'd say the probably the first two months, the first 50 to 60 days of selling, I thought that the money that was released into my PayPal account was mine. I thought that eBay had taken all their, their fees and everything. I thought PayPal had taken their fees and I thought that was just mine to, to count as taxable income, but that's not true. The money that's transferred into your PayPal account is only minus your PayPal fees. 
It's not minus the 10% that eBay takes out. You have to manually pay your eBay fees every month. Say you sell an item for $100, okay? PayPal is gonna take 3%, eBay is gonna take 10%. But if you sell an item for $100, you're gonna see a deposit into your PayPal account of $97, when it should be $87. You know, because 100 minus 13%, $87. So I wasn't, I just didn't do the math. I just saw that, oh, I got $97, cool, I guess that's just mine. I just, I was excited and I wasn't thinking about the math and it took me like 60 days. I finally checked my, my eBay account and it said I owed like 200 and something dollars. Don't just take that money that's in your PayPal account and just spend it all on sourcing new items. You need to save some of that money. Um, I like to go in at least once a week and pay my eBay fees so they don't get so I don't get a large amount accrued up at once But you can handle it however you want to do I just like to do it once a week and number five And I think probably one of the most important things just for the the overall growth of your business and starting out on the right foot Is gonna be your shipping requirements when you start selling on eBay Shipping is probably if you haven't done it before shipping is probably the steepest learning curve that you have to deal with and for me I was just kind of playing by ear. I would say, okay, so my handling time for my shipping is gonna be two days and I can just, you know, if I make it in two days, it's okay. If I take three or four days, it's it's fine too. But that's not true. Like whatever you set your handling time to be, you have to ship within that handling time. So if you get all cocky as a new seller and you say, I'm gonna ship same business day, all my orders, then you better be prepared to go to the post office every single day, multiple times a day. Because if you ship late, if you ship after that time that you've allotted yourself in your listing, you're going to have some defects on your account and it's going to affect your seller rating. My advice would be to set all of your handling time to three business days. That way you would have plenty of time to get to the post office and get your item shipped and you don't have to deal with going to the post office every day, especially as a new seller. Like I said, it's a steep learning curve. So you wanna make sure that you give yourself plenty of time to pack things right, to find boxes when things sell, and to just get things out in that time frame. Another shipping, I guess shipping requirement thing I wanna throw in here is if you're selling large items, like heavy items, make sure you weigh your items after you've packed them. I made the mistake several times of having a big heavy, like a. I keep using a VCR as an example, but it's a good example. I'd have like a VCR and I'd put it on my scale, just the VCR, and it would weigh you know, four pounds or whatever. So I would put in my shipping, I would charge the buyer shipping, and in my shipping details, I would list four pounds for the shipping. But then when it would sell, I would have to wrap it in bubble wrap and, and put little, and put, you know, paper in there as, as void fill, then put it in a box and close the box and tape the box up. So by the time the four pound VCR was packed and ready to ship, it weighed like six and a half, seven pounds. And if you're sending it from, you know, East Coast to West Coast, that could be a difference of $20 or so, 15 to $20. That actually happened to me twice where I drastically underestimated the weight of the complete package and I ended up eating those costs. Again, that's something nobody really told me about, or at least I didn't find a video about it in time. So be sure to weigh all of your heavy items after they've been packed. So there you have it, guys. That's my five tips, my five things that nobody told me about when I started reselling. I don't know why I didn't know it, but it really caused me to stumble in the beginning and it, it caused me to make a couple of mistakes. I was lucky not to have made too many late shipping errors, so I, don't, I still have a 100% positive feedback. Uh, and a healthy account status, I'm still a top rated seller. It's really important when you start out selling on eBay, you have to make sure you start out on the right foot. If you make silly mistakes in the beginning and you get negative feedback or you get some defects on your account, it's really, really hard to build that back up. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate your time. If you liked it, if you learned anything, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a ton. If you like content like this, videos about reselling and, and selling on eBay and Amazon and, and the DIY projects that you can make and sell. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I put out new videos at least twice a week, so I feel like that's a pretty good amount of uh, amount of content for you guys to consume. Here's Moe's. Hey, hey Moe's, what are you doing? You got a tennis ball? Okay, we'll say bye to everybody. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, sponsor, uh, G Fuel. G Fuel, sponsor my videos, G Fuel. <sighs> okay, let's go play with Moe's. Bye guys. Woo.